Vigit, bonjour, buenos dias, ni hao ma, strasviche. Today I'm outside of a grocery store, CVS shopping center, as you can see, and I've chosen to put a, a light duty truck behind me uh, today because I wanted to cover five reasons why it's possible that the trucking that Tesla represents could be bigger than their car business. And if you have $50 billion on the, the value of the car business, that would mean that trucking should be $50 billion as well in market cap. So the vehicle behind me is what's called a medium duty truck. It's not an 18 wheeler or anything like that. This truck will go no more than 100 or so, 150 miles for the day, which is exactly uh, the marketplace that Mercedes-Benz is testing in Europe and that Tesla uh, will likely be going after as a start. So this is a delivery vehicle. Medium to heavy duty trucks represent 25% of the pollution in the air. So particularly in dense areas, having these trucks convert is gonna be a big deal. In particular, one might wanna look at the fact that many municipalities have the dollars to make the transition. And the reality is that um, they'll need to make those, they can and are willing to make those transitions as their fleets change over, particularly when you're looking at community uh, communities that have severe pollution issues that they're dealing with. That's you, Los Angeles. Uh, that's you, New York. Um, that's you, European cities that are trying to reduce uh, the pollution impact. Um, so th th there are five reasons why I think the trucking opportunity is huge. The first reason is that um, getting caught flat-footed is a problem for the truck, ma the truck engine and truck manufacturers. Um, they're a little bit flat-footed because everyone's been focused on how to optimize diesel and their emissions for a long time. And unlike the car business, where there are competitors that have been carefully watching Tesla and preparing for their arrival, the truck business is in my mind completely unprepared for this electric onslaught that Tesla is about to unleash. The second reason um, I think this opportunity is bigger is batteries. At least in the United States, Tesla is working on its second gigafactory right now um, in Buffalo, New York. And at this point, to my knowledge, there's no U.S. manufacturer of engines or trucks that's even building one gigafactory. And the concern here is that about 50% of the cost of the vehicle is in batteries. So if you have an edge in terms of having your own plant on the battery side, you can lower, not only lower the cost, but you can get supplies uh, in terms of batteries needed at a lower price to deliver whatever solution you're going to do. So, um, you know, I think that's a huge deal. And then for this truck behind me, a third reason is that because Tesla can drop its own power company any place it wants to within a hundred days, it allows them to recharge these trucks, let's say in a small fleet that's local, um, rather quickly. To my knowledge, there's no other manufacturer that has its own power plant uh, sitting there ready to go to produce its own electricity uh, for those vehicles. Uh, the fourth reason for this, uh, my perception that Tesla has a huge advantage here, is rolling stock to test concept. So every vehicle Tesla drops on the streets is another opportunity to refine and master how electric is going to work. Uh, for cities. So for example, this truck behind me won't have range anxiety and one of the reasons is that with the Tesla charging network if there are any issues with its range it could simply go in and do a supercharger or a regular charger to pick up distance if that was needed. Um, the fifth reason why I think that uh, there's a Tesla advantage that's difficult for the truckers to respond to and could result in them giving up 20 or 25 percent of their market share is simply time to market. It takes a while to both uh, develop and test as well as the fact that Tesla already has um, infrastructure in place be it uh, the charging stations etc in order to to really um, go after market share 
which is go after customers that currently belong to other small and large manufacturers in the trucking industry. Thank you for watching. Please like. Tschüss, Max Gut. Au revoir. Choda Hafez. Al Hitraot.